She is such a good baby. Kelly Duchesne's life is filled with a new grandbaby. That was pretty good, huh? A husband and grown daughters, and stacks and stacks of files that detail a 30-year-long unwanted odyssey. It was always a huge problem, because I was just sick all the time. Kelly's that person, the one who always had something wrong. We had probably a decade or more of chronic sinusitis, followed by sinus surgery, which led to a pseudomonas bacteria infection in the bone of my sinuses and nine months of IV antibiotics. There was the false scleroderma diagnosis, the celiac diagnosis, the debilitating digestive and bladder issues. You also start feeling like a hypochondriac because you have all these weird things happening that you can't really point to and no one can see. If it was contagious, Kelly was catching it. Everything anybody ever brought home, I would always get it harder and longer. What she never imagined was that all these seemingly disconnected illnesses weren't. And it was right before my 19th birthday. That was when Kelly caught mono, the so-called kissing disease. I just remember being so insanely tired, very sore, yeah, just very, very sick. But you recovered from it? I thought so. People do not appreciate, first of all, how significant mono can be. Dr. Henry H. Balfour Jr. at the University of Minnesota is developing a mono vaccine that could be used in human trials as early as next year. Epstein-Barr virus, the cause of mono, was discovered in 1964, and yet here we are many decades later, later without a vaccine. Maybe that's because so many see mono, the Epstein-Barr virus, EBV for short, which has no approved treatment, as an unwelcome yet unavoidable rite of passage to adulthood. But for an unknown number of people, the virus does not stay dormant. It rears up, destroying health in a myriad of mysterious, disjointed ways. A mono vaccine could have enormous impact, far beyond preventing mono. Epstein-Barr virus is responsible for a number of chronic conditions, especially certain forms of cancer, and autoimmune disease, and even multiple sclerosis. Balfour says nearly everyone with MS has been infected with EBV, and that some cases of mystery illnesses, like chronic fatigue syndrome and fibromyalgia, could be because of mono. After reading about it, Kelly asked her doctor to test her. It just says higher than 600. The typical levels of a, you know, dormant Epstein-Barr virus, zero to 20, and there I was over 600. So clearly this virus had been thriving and surviving for over 30 years in my body. So Kelly and her doctor consulted with Dr. Balfour, who suggested a course of antiviral drugs. Immediately, I will tell you the results are not as tired. And the biggest, you know, really non-substantiated thing I can say is I have kept a pace since this spring like I haven't kept in 10 to 15 years and I have not gotten sick. That's revolutionary. Three decades of lost health, somewhat restored. Balfour says the world could be filled with people like Kelly Duchesne. 90 to 95 percent of the world's population have been infected by this virus by the time they're adults. And so clearly there's a large portion of us who have chronic symptoms that could well be due to, to EBV. And I think it's time to pay more attention to the virus. Life teaches us that the greatest mysteries live within us. Dr. Balfour is unlocking one that could give chronically ill people a chance to be well again. I think it's huge. I think it's, this could be like a game life changer for so many people. Jay Watson. This is all just part of a puzzle that needed to be put together. 11 Alive News.